So how to fix quiet audio in your videos? We've all been in that situation where you've recorded your video, you get it into the editing software and it looks and sounds like this. I'm using your set, but for my video. Right, it better be good. You have those huge discrepancies between the voice being really, really loud one second and then really, really quiet in the next. Straight up, the temptation when you have discrepancy in volume like that is to get the quiet bits and to turn them right up. And there's a few issues in doing that. Firstly, is that the loud bits are gonna get turned up too. So if we go into Premiere Pro here and turn up this clip by the maximum 6 dB, then the loudest bits are gonna be distorted. Yeah, well, I've, Wednesday. I'm using your set. And the quiet bits aren't actually loud enough even with the loudest bits being distorted. And that's the second problem. We've only got six decibels plus to play with if we're just working with the volume control inside Premiere Pro, which may not be enough to get those quiet bits loud enough. Now, thankfully, there's a really simple solution to this, and that is using a compressor. In Premiere Pro, it's called the single band compressor. It may be something different if you're in Final Cut or using perhaps a different DAW to work with with your audio. But for this example, we're gonna use the single band compressor inside Premiere Pro. It's in effects under audio effects on the left-hand side here. And you literally, we're just gonna drag it and drop it onto our clip. The advantage of using a compressor to do this job is what it's going to do is take the loudest bits and the quietest bits and squash them together, compress them. Technically it's called reducing dynamic range, you don't actually need to worry about that. All it's doing is getting the very loudest parts and the very quietest parts and squashing them together to make that difference smaller or compressed. Once that difference has been compressed we can take that squashed version of our audio file and turn it up higher without it distorting. So those quieter bits are now as perceptible as the loud parts. So let's jump into that compressor that we've placed on our clip in Premiere Pro. It's on the left in the effects control panel now. If we click edit and open up the parameters for that compressor. There's only a few parameters that you really need to know to get the best use out of this compressor. First is the threshold. On first blush, this looks pretty complicated, but there's a trick to knowing what to set this at. The threshold is a level that we set that needs to be broken by the audio file, and everything that is broken that threshold will get compressed. The easy way of figuring out what to set that to is if you play your clip, yeah, well, I've and look on the right-hand meter set, here, we can see at what volume video. it's peaking at. Right, so be good. for the quieter parts, it's below minus 18, and for the loudest bits, it's at minus six. So if we set this threshold to be always broken, let's say minus 20. Now everything in this audio file that gets above minus 20 will be affected by this compressor. The next important parameter to know about is the ratio and this is how hard it's going to compress it and because the difference between my loudest part and my quietest part of the audio are quite big I'm going to set this quite high and that's around 8 to 1. If you just want a light compression a good kind of standard to set it at is 4 to 1, 5 to 1 at most that will always get you an effective result. So now if we play that clip without affecting any of the other parameters, it will just sound quieter to us. So Yeah, well, it's Wednesday. I'm using your set, but for my video. Right. See, the whole thing has just been turned down, but that now enables us to turn the whole thing up because if we remember, the loudest parts and the quietest parts are now closer together, so we can get more volume out of it without it distorting. So let's take our output game, which is the final parameter to pay attention to. I'm going to turn this all the way up to plus 12. Now if we play our clip again. Yeah, well, I've, Wednesday. I'm using your set, but for my video. Right, it better be good. Okay, let's do this. The quieter parts are now a lot louder, a lot easier to hear, and the louder parts, well, they're still loud, but they're not distorting. So we've reduced that difference and turned the whole thing up. And miraculously, we've got a lot more volume out of that audio file without any nasty distortion. Now there is something else to pay attention to when you're turning anything up this much you are going to turn up any noise that's on the recording as well. But that's a really easy fix thankfully. We can use the plugin called the adaptive noise reduction and we'll just drop that onto our clip and we're going to set the reduction to be minus 10. Now if we play that back we can hear the finished result. Yeah well it's Wednesday. I'm using your set but for my video. Right, it better be good. And if I turn off those plugins, we can hear what it was like before and after. So this is before. Yeah, well, it's Wednesday. I'm using your set, but for my video. Right, it better be good. And this is after. Yeah, well, it's Wednesday. I'm using your set, but for my video. Right, it better be good. Okay, let's do this.
Obviously there's a huge amount more that you can do in post-production to audio, but this is just a really simple and effective way of rescuing any quiet recordings that you have. How to fix quiet audio in Premiere Pro. Oh, hi Major. I fix audio because I'm a Premiere Pro nerd. And other things like that. Hi. Are you back? Yeah. Oh, I just kicked the light. This bit's not supposed to be in the videos. Ruined it right at the end. So there you go, that's how we fix it. Maybe you do it a different way that's wrong. If you do it a different way, it's wrong. You're wrong. And you can see this video again for proof. Hopefully that was helpful. That's our little Friday tip for you, for free. There is an option to give back. You could support our... How do they do that though? Our coffee fund, really. Like liking the video? Like, well, you could like the video. We don't really care. You could subscribe. Not that fast. Comment. More fussed about commenting than anything else. I like comments. No, no, no. I want the money. All right. Yeah, yeah. yeah. All the money. So what have we got? We can flog them. Uh, I tell you what, we do have that we can flog them. Yeah. There's this copyright free music library that we've got kicking around. Yeah. Dusty. Yeah. Yeah. We don't really use it ourselves much anymore. Yeah. But it's really you can good. have it. You, you can, can have, have it. Reasonable price. Well. Yeah. Filmmakers Club. Price. That's a great name for it. Yeah. I've got a better name. The Watermelon Squad. Right, just join our Filmmakers Club. The Watermelon Squad. And it's, we give you something, but you get to give us a warm, fuzzy feeling inside by supporting us and joining the club. Like it's, all good relationships, everyone gives. I like receiving. <laughs> that could be really interpreted in many ways. Hmm. <laughs> Uh, I think you should end it before we explore all those ways. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll be back on Monday with uh, a, some kind of review, another lens or something of that sort. Is you, it a you, camera? You get really lens. disappointed with these because you're not in the month. Is that it? Well, Is that why you underplay it? Or tune in on Wednesday. Well, we'll have something very exciting to share with you. We don't know what yet. Are we all right for watch time yet? We're probably about it, aren't we? Oh, you seem to have a new watch, AJ. Yet another one. Yeah. See you on Monday. <laughs> <laughs>